All right, don't disappoint us now, Chris. And don't hit the building. Spoolie boys. boys. Ripped out the factory steering column. This is the old one. Why your shit? Uh. Don't go away that much. Wait, is there a scale in there? Yes, there's scale in there. Oh shit! Here we go. <laughs> So this racecraft steering column it comes with the you know detachable steering wheel. It's got a uh, outer sleeve tube with a bushing in here. It's an inch and a quarter tube. Comes with a three quarter inch inner diameter tube for your steering shaft. So you weld your adapter on to the tube for the detachable steering steering wheel here. And then make a couple brackets, one up here and one down there in the factory locations to get your tilt. Put him in the driver's seat after we got everything taken out. We got the interior of the engine bay shaft pretty much buttoned up, close to where it needed to sit as far as length goes. Had him sit in the seat. Made the uh, distance right here where he wanted it, measured that. Made the bracket for this. Go ahead and slapped it on, put the tube in. After that, had him sit in the seat again. Got the tilt where he wanted it, measured from the front bracket. Once those tubes are made, you can cut the tube to the length you want. We decided to go ahead and put a couple U-joints in. One at the top and one at the bottom, just for any deflection down at the bottom. But we went ahead and cut the coupler off on that factory steering gear down there because we couldn't actually find a coupler to go from the factory Cadillac steering gear to a three quarter inch round tube coupler. So we cut that off, welded to the factory steering gear coupler, a couple joints, a little bit of tube, and there she is. So why did they pull the whole dash back out? Oh, roll cage. That roll makes cage. sense. That makes sense. Got the front half of the cage back in, welded up. We gotta put a, put a couple X bars in over his head. But other than that, cage is done for now until we do custom seat brackets, door bars, little uh, bar that goes across the trans tunnel here for one to catch the drive shaft from going into the cab just in case anything happens, but it shouldn't. Eventually, we'll put a drive shaft hoop under the car. Uh, I had one at the rear end, but it didn't have one at the trans. We still need to put one in the trans. Need to get some one inch tube and a one inch die to bend that. That way it fits nice and snug in the tunnel. Other than that, cage is getting pretty wrapped up. Joe's got to do some wiring, finish up the wiring that he wants to do, rip out some old stuff, put some new stuff in, put the dash back in. Get the motor back together. Got the front tube work done. Turbo mounted back where it needs to be. Bolted the fenders back on. Got a new driver fender over here. Got a new hood going on. This new bumper here, mocking this thing back up. Need to get it back to where it's gonna sit so we can go ahead and make tabs for the top tubular bars here. Once we get that done, 
We have to test fit the, the hood so we can put our hood pin tabs on the top bars here. Once that's done, we can make the splitter, which is gonna include the radiator, prime pump for the fuel, fuel filter, whatever else we wanna put in there. Block off the front, that way we can get less air going into the engine bay, going down the track, makes it go faster. Block off the, makes it go faster. <laughs> Block off the fog light holes there. Got to make another down pipe that got crushed. But this week worked on uh, tube draw done. We caught up with the elusive Chris. Oh, he's seen us! <laughs> do a burnout. I'll do a burnout. I'll do a burnout. Do a burnout. I'll do one. Give me a minute. <laughs> We're going to see. I don't think he does. No, he don't. I think he's scared. That's why. Come on, Chris. Do burnout. I will. Look at look at what. What are you doing right now? What are you doing right now? I'm tight next to Oh. With your fingers. You got 20 minutes. <laughs> All right, so this is Chris. We coerced him into doing a burnout in a stock rear end CTSV. Glass. While we're throwing the, the juice down. So either, you know, smoky smokes. <laughs> or, or, snap, or snappy spokes. <laughs> <laughs> My grandpa driving you, dude. Hey man, a red line a day keeps the carbon away. <laughs> Rule one, trash control off. Rule two, don't embarrass yourself. <laughs> Talk about wheel hop. That's why I said, you rev, rev it up higher. You gotta feed it some more speed there, dude. More juice. Oh, more juice. That was weak sauce. Might have to break out the old Cummins there in a second. Might have to go get the light. I'm gonna do it again, but something literally fell off the car. Let me do it. Pull out the chain. Hey, hey, look, see? Make everything better. See, we just pumped out parts that you thought you lost. Yeah, I dropped it in there. Thank yeah. God it came out. Y'all let him work here and do shit like that? Time's a charm, gents. <laughs> five, five out of ten. That's better. That was better. You can get the color cream smoking. <laughs>
Hey, man. Peer pressure is always right. I mean, it was a smart decision. It's a little bit that I'll have to deal with, but we'll be all right.